my dear beloved people of God, we are on the sixth Easter Sunday, and on this Sunday we are invited to reflect on love. The main theme is love. The scripture readings of today speak about God's love for us, our love for God, and our love towards our friends. The embodiment of this love is Jesus Christ. He loves everyone. The first reading of today makes it very clear that God does no partiality towards anyone, but He accepts everyone who fears Him. God wills the salvation of all, even of the non-Jews. In the second reading, we are told by Saint John in his letter that God is the source of love. Love springs from God. And once we receive and accept that love, we are invited to respond to that love and then live our life by loving our neighbors, by loving our friends. Saint John makes it very clear. Saint John says that God loved us first. Obviously, if God is love and all the time if love is flowing from him towards us, it is from him that we receive that love. So God loved us first. We can love others only because God loved us first. And he has shown his love by sending his only son Jesus Christ and sacrificing him for our sake. And then he invites us to love one another because love comes from God. How beautiful it is when we live by loving everyone. The Gospel reading is the continuation of last Sunday's Gospel reading where abiding is the main theme. Yes, today Jesus invites his disciples to abide in his love. He says, as my father has loved me, so have I loved you. Remain or abide in my love. Love of Jesus towards us is very precious, is very unique. Jesus calls for supernatural standard for love. He says, love one another as I have loved you. The love of Jesus towards us is intimate. He calls us friends and not servants. He says, you are my friend and I love you as a friend. You must have surely experienced the love of your friends or maybe of a particular person who is your best friend, how much that person loves you. And Jesus says, the greatest form of this love is by laying one's life for another. It is important to note here that Jesus calls his disciples as friends even though when their obedience was not perfect. How do we abide in Jesus' love? It is by being obedient to his commandment, the commandment of love. To love as he has loved and he has loved to the point of death. So Jesus' love is also sacrificial. He has sacrificed himself totally for us by dying on the cross. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Yes, Jesus has done it. He is the highest example. And there are many who have followed in the example of Jesus Christ. Just for an example, Maximilian Kolbe, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, whose feast we celebrate on 14th August, he sacrificed his life for the sake of another fellow prisoner in the German concentration camp. And there are many more. But in our normal situations, there are many people who risk their life for the sake of others. Example of this is our parents, our mothers, who risk their life for the sake of the children. They value the life of their children more than their own life. And there are other people who are seen at the time of crisis. They risk their life for others. And we are very much aware of this. Recently, 
we have experienced the worst crisis of our times that is the corona pandemic there were many people who risked their lives especially the doctors the nurses even priests who went to give last sacraments and even for the last rites i know of a priest a foreigner priest an elderly priest who sacrificed his life by offering his oxygen gas cylinder for a younger boy there are many more of that kind these people are to be commended remembered cherished and admired this is the highest form of love in order to follow the master in his example we also invited to sacrifice ourselves sacrifice our time our talents our resources for the sake of the others are you ready to pay the price let's love one another just as jesus has loved us love comes from god how beautiful it is when people live by the love commandment of jesus christ let's love people genuinely let's be even ready to risk our life for the sake of the other may god bless all of you